Welcome to another video on Laravel admin panel cities. In last video, we created this commenting system. So in uh, this video, we'll uh, just optimize a couple of things. Like uh, first thing we want to do is uh, instead of showing this model name, we want to show the uh, blog name, blog title, or something related to blog, so that uh, it is easier to identify uh, for who's uh, for what blog this comment is. All right. Also, we'll show other data like we created uh, this block. Uh, so let's get started. So whenever we want to change anything to this data table, we need to go to the controller. So the structure of this Laravel uh, admin panel is like, uh, for example, we are we are searching for uh, data related to comment data table. So comment table controller will have that so table controller is the uh, suffix and here on invoke we are getting uh, the comment data from database and then we are passing that query to this data uh, table function and we, we constructed uh, comment body comment comment table types actually we just displayed all the field of comment table So instead of showing this commentable type, which is this, let's display the block name. So the way we do is uh, like commentable. So com uh, doing this will access the blog model. And we can call any field on blog model like name. And let's refresh. Yeah, so this will display the blog's name. Similarly, you can uh, display block content, content, you get the idea. For now, let's display name. So to edit uh, here is written type, you can change that easily by going to uh, backend comment index and here instead of type just so blog name also you can change this like um, whatever you like blog name or you can give any key name just make sure you need to you change it here blog name and this should work all right all right similarly you can uh, grab any data you like uh, so for example let's add created at column I, I will call it honor so you can access that like uh, commentable and in blog model we have honor relationship and then display honor name and here also we need to add one more field like honor you can give any key name just make sure that is there actually you this name shouldn't be I think this is not uh, required let's try without that honor and similarly you can uh, display honor here there we go all right so next thing what we want to do is uh, we we should make a way to create comment uh, on any blog post so currently if you go uh, go to comment we can see just comment form but uh, we have no idea for which form we are making comment so we should make uh, uh, we should allow admin to create that as well so I will put a simple sel select box here with blocks name so that uh, admin can comment yeah, for now let's uh, do that so let's go to comment create form backend comment comments let's see create form so on this create form i will add one more field here 
uh, let's call it comment table and here will be our array of blocks so for now let's do it in line block ID and then name so here we need to switch name uh, will be displayed and then value will be ID so here we have list of uh, so let's add actually it won't work for us just now we need to handle this also so comment table uh, we need to uh, capture that on our controller so comment controller so according to user selection we'll deal with that so let's go to store method and for now let's tie and dump request all so we selected this and let's hit create so we're getting token commentable 3 and body so what we'll do here is uh, so this will be only case for if request has commentable so if there is commentable then uh, we'll deal it with uh, deal with it differently so comment table class will be then uh, so first we'll find block uh, and then so else input will be so this will be for front end uh, block sorry front end comment so if there is no commentable then proceed as usual if there is commentable then we need to construct this input manually which should contain commentable id and commentable type with body so what we'll do is first uh, we'll do same thing first we'll get these items accept token and commentable also commentable and then we can construct that input commentable type cost to get alright so we just need to construct these two now we'll have same input at this point and everything will proceed as usual so make sure we import this class okay so once that is done let's uh, let's reload and try the submitting comment and see what happens okay comment successfully created let's check yeah so it is created you can check uh, once more let's create for uh, this Vue.js new course comment from admin on Vue.js course create successfully created comments yeah comment from admin on Vue.js course so blog name is that created by this you can also edit yeah so edited all right so this is how you fetch uh, data in this data table and create comments from backend so uh, from next video what we'll do is we'll discuss about uh, creating API using this and maybe we'll use uh, Fuses on front end to consume that API. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.